Okay, it is uh, Monday, 4.13, and this is Freddie's doctor and his nurses, and his doctor is going to introduce himself and explain everything you all need to know about Freddie. Hi, I'm Dr. DiBiasio, and I treated Freddie uh, for the past four days in the hospital here. He came in for bleed, nosebleeds, actually so severe to the point that he had to have multiple transfusions while in hospital. Um, Freddie has done remarkably well considering uh, the amount of blood he lost. And over the course of his day, we did use a, a number of different diagnostics to work out why he might have uh, been bleeding as much as he was. And the good news is, is that he does not have... Uh, anything really bad. Um, we, we did a CAT scan of his nose from the tip of his nose back to his brain. Didn't find any masses, so no evidence of cancer. No, that's no wonderful. evidence of any sort of foreign bodies or trauma that was in the nose, so he doesn't have a broken nose. Huh. Um, and no evidence on rhinoscopy, which is uh, when I go in with the camera both from the front of the nose and through the back of the nose, no evidence that he has any sort of fungal growth. Um, aspergillosis would be a fungus that can sometimes invade into the nose and eat into arteries and cause bleeding. So um, overall, quite good news. And the current uh, thought is that Freddie's back legs may actually have played a role. So um, because he's walking on his front legs and he has a lot of pain associated with the back legs, his blood pressure may have risen to the point, especially when he's having maybe acute onset bouts of pain, to the point where he's getting these nosebleeds. And that in conjunction with maybe having a mild rhinitis, so inflammation in the nose, just like uh, a person with allergies, um, could predispose him to nosebleeds, and that com combined with uh, the high blood pressure may, may have set up for a nasty little situation where he bled as much as he did. Okay. Um, good news is that we're going to treat the inflammation in his nose, we're going to treat his pain, um, and another veterinarian is actually going to take care of his orthopedic issues. Right. And our hope is that Freddie will, will continue to improve and can you know, never look back from probably the pretty horrible things that happened to him in the past. But he's a sweet dog, and we're all, mm -hmm. all uh, hoping that he'll continue to, to do well and touch as many people's lives as possible. Well, thank you. And, and uh, we're at the Metropolitan... Associate, uh, Metropolitan okay. Veterinary Associates in Norristown, Pennsylvania, and Fred, you're looking at Freddie now because they saved his life. There's absolutely no doubt about that. He would not be sitting here if it weren't for these people who are taking care of Freddie now. So I'm getting to take him home, and uh, I feel very grateful for that. And if you ever need any help, this is the place to come. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, Freddie and I are home. He's back on his bed. As soon as I open the front door, he started wagging his tail. Wag the tail, Freddy. That's it. Wag the tail. He's already had his sip of water, and now he's having his fresh pet dog food, which is his favorite. I took that to the hospital with him. It's a miracle. He's here. He's had such a hard time. And... Um, as you can see, he has not lost his appetite. He's been gone since last Wednesday. And uh, so here he is, having his lunch. Yay, Freddie! <laughs>